we propose a method for estimating depth from the focus for videos. The input to our method are focus sweep videos, which are captured by continuously changing the focus settings of a commodity video camera by hand. In the captured video, the in-focus region known as depth of field then sweeps across the scene, hence the name focus sweep video. Our method exploits the defocus blur in the input video to reconstruct an all-in-focus video and a depth map video. The estimated all-in-focus RGBD video enables us to recreate the input video but also to interactively refocus it, for example by virtually increasing the aperture and fixing the focus on the foreground. Here is a brief overview of our method. The input video covers a range of focus distances, from near to far and back again. The video frames therefore capture the scene at different times and with different focus distances. We align the frames in a ramp to each frame to create per frame focus stacks. For this, we use defocus preserving alignment that warps to neighboring video frames while preserving their original defocus blur. We next compute a depth map from the aligned focus stack using depth from defocus. We then use this depth map to deconvolve the focus stack images for obtaining an all in focus image. We do this for all video frames in a multi resolution, space time coherent optimization procedure to obtain an all in focus RGBD video. For details, please refer to our paper. Here we show a detailed focus measurement chart that was captured by a moving camera. Our estimated all in focus video successfully removes the time varying defocus blurs, and our depth maps capture the slope of the chart. We can now interactively refocus the video, for example, focusing near or far or somewhere in the middle. We now apply a virtual tilt shift effect, which results in a compressed depth of field. Here we visualize the depth of field in orange and show the out of focus regions in blue. Note how smoothly we can swipe the depth of field across the chart. We now show an extended video of a dynamic scene with multiple focus ramps captured by a moving camera. Note that the focus continuously moves from the front of the scene to the back and to the front again. These are the all in focus and depth videos reconstructed by our method. Our result removes the defocus blur in the input video and recovers the main depth layers of the scene. Here we refocus the input video with a larger aperture and hence smaller depth of field. We first focus on the whiteboard in the background and then on the person facing the camera. Here we compare our results to the single frame method of Suvayana Korn and colleagues. We reconstruct depth maps and all in focus images for every video frame, not just for one. This allows us to faithfully refocus the input video, placing the focus on each of the books in turn. In this result, there is very little camera motion, but we still recover per frame all in focus images and depth maps. For refocusing, we again make use of virtual tilt shift videography, which results in exaggerated depth of field. We again visualize the extent of the depth of field using orange. Here we move the focus to the middle ball, the far ball, the middle ball, and back to the near ball. We now show a virtual dolly zoom, where the camera moves closer to the books while keeping the size of the middle book constant. The key ingredient for this effect is our reconstructed all in focus RGBD video, one frame of which we visualize here as the point cloud. Here is another refocusing result with a larger virtual aperture, where we switch the focus between the posters in the background and the palm leaf in the foreground. In this longer video with multiple focus ramps, we can see natural facial expressions, which are challenging to preserve in the reconstructed all in focus RGBD video. In this refocusing video, one can see that our method successfully preserves these facial expressions.
Here's one more video refocusing result on a keyboard dataset using the tilt shift effect. Note how the depth of field smoothly sweeps across the keyboard, resulting in a nice and smooth focus pull effect. Thank you for your attention.